So, I'm playing Rain Man Redemption, because I've actually wanted to stream this, like, fully. Uh, I'm not doing a 100% run. Um, I'm probably just going to do an any percent run to get. Because I can be pretty pretty chill with this one. This isn't, like, OG Rain Man one, where I have to 100% the game. You have no choice but to do it. Otherwise, you ain't beating the game, and I hate that. <laughs> Might have to go to the hospital next week, but it's not anything dangerous. Oh no. Well, it's good that it's nothing dangerous. But hospital sounds fun. Rayman rating, yeah. So, for those of you who don't know, this is a fan creation by a game and by um, a dude called uh, Rymony, and he is awesome. He he himself made this awesome remake of Rayman One, like. This is the definitive version of Rayman 1 now in my eyes. It is perfect. <laughs> and I really want to play it. Um, so we'll just see how it goes. Lum, there we go. Why so many fan creations? Isn't it time for a heater creation by now? <laughs> I, um, I was glossing it over. I was tempted to play on Classic because you have you do get lives of plenty in this one. This this one, honestly, isn't as brutal as the original Rayman one. But I think because I want to just have a chill time playing this, I think I'm going to play on Casual. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think? I'm not playing Demise because I'm no. <laughs> but pretty much Demise is that one-up statues are rigged, and I lose a life for getting them. There are no checkpoints. I start with less health as well, so it's like, mm, that's kind of brutal. <laughs> but classic is the standard, you have lives, you can get game overs, um, but I can continue from where I was if I game over. But classic is just infinite lives, have a chill time. Casual? Yeah, I'm thinking casual too. <laughs> OG oh, Reed is tough as nails, reinforced with steel. Yeah. <laughs> casual, like your voice, thank you. <laughs> Actually, I need to just make sure... Are these working? Let me see if this is working. Yeah, my, my alerts are working. That's good. And it's not too overpowering. That's decent. <laughs> I need to check to see if my sound stuff's working, because it weren't last time. But okay, I'll play casual. Because I think it'll be a decent time. Oh, actually, since I'm playing in Windowed, I can just pop chat out and have it there instead. Do let me know if the audio is too loud or anything, and I can adjust. The harmony, balance of the world. This apparently can't last. This is the better. Um, magician. This this voice, the better one. The evil Mr. Dark steals the great protoon and, and defeats Batilla the Fairy as she tries to protect it. I wonder if maybe Ryan would ever play this game. That would be neat. I could see Ryan playing it. And I think you're a donkey. No, you, Rain. I almost called you Rayman Imaginary. <laughs> Your name is now Ray Imaginary X. <laughs> but hello, Imaginary. How are you? <laughs> they definitely need a hero to save them now. Don't you think? Actually, put my activity feed there. Go and free the Electoons, Rayman! Come on, why don't we don't want it to dock. There we go. But the Good thanks for working on my game for Halloween. Nice! That does remind me, I actually wanted to talk to you about a game idea that I've got in my mind, but it's not um, definite if I'll make it. But I would like to. It would obviously be a late Halloween thing if I did, but, you know, late's better than never, I guess. Alright, the Dream Forest, Pink Plants. Already getting massive nostalgia waves.
Rayman 1 is an 18 plus game because Rayman swears. He called me he called me the C word. How dare he? <laughs> he he said the rude word. I'm I'm pretty sure he just um coughs, but I always imagine he like is swearing whenever he makes that noise. <laughs> Rayman called you a carrot? How dare he? <laughs> Love your Zero Suit Samus outfit. Is that where it's supposed to be? Yes, it is Zero Suit Susie. Because I imagine that she'd be into cosplaying. Uh, this is one of the one... This is one of the one. This is one of the few redeems that I have uh, for my outfits. Your hair's not even orange. It's not supposed to be. <laughs> um... But I've got a few outfit uh, redeems that you can pick. I forgot that there was actually a pit there. Whoops. I died on the first level. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> I could have sworn that there wasn't a pit there to like train you. That's embarrassing. But, oh well, life is all about embarrassment, ain't it? That's why I went down there, because there is a cheeky cage hidden there. Not even two minutes in, he flippin' died. It's Rayman, what do you expect? <laughs> As chat would say, you jeffed it, yeah. <laughs> or like I did on uh, the game. <laughs> you said you had an idea for a game idea earlier? Yes, I did. Um, I'll... I'll probably message you about it and talk to you about it. Yeah, something I'd... I had in mind that I'd like to try and make if I can. Um, it's a basic idea, but one that I'd have to uh, figure out specifics for, um, and then finding certain assets and all of that jazz. I don't think I'm getting that cage yet, so we'll come back for that one. Unless I can make my way up there. I don't think I can yet, because in the demo I could. So yeah, one of the one of the things I like about Redemption is that you start off with the power-ups. So that the game is a lot faster, because Rayman 1 is a very slow... Very, very slow game to start with. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm getting that cage either just yet. That's okay. Like, you start off with, like, absolutely nothing. You can't punch, you can't run, you can't do anything. You can you can do the screamy face, that, and that's about it. Um, and you typically, you get your power-ups as you go through the game, but in this you start off with them. And Batil the Fairy has a different purpose, which is quite neat. I think I managed to get a good idea to fill up the plot for one of my stories today too. Would you be interested in hearing that? Of course. I would love to. So I'll try and uh, I'll still see how far I can get in this stream. Because as I'm not going for a hundred percent, I could probably do a fair bit quite quickly. Um, like I was, I was watching Kedakaris's streams just to sort of brush up a bit, um, and obviously he did like a stream of world because he was needing to be intricate about it all. Um, there was a kingship there, wasn't there? Yeah. What was I? What? Did I see a cage? I saw a cage. I thought I saw a cage. Let me just batch like a sec. Let me go over here. I could I could have sworn I, I saw a cage somewhere. Or maybe I'm just going crazy. It could be that I'm going crazy. I would uh fully understand that. <laughs> the idea is I had this saying of the OG Fulcro's world. 
The one with all the monsters and uh, Vrat. Quick cat recap monsters called. A word that I can't pronounce has an army of monsters called the Verata, which he used to make the world his eternal feast, and other sapient species are to be a part of it. Hmm. Intriguing. Susie's more crazy than you, yeah. She is. <laughs> she do be. I swear there was a cage, like, nearby. Nah, that's just about the way I came. But, I can take this, drop it down. Oh, I thought I landed on the thing. <laughs> There will be quite a bit of dying in this, I will warn. <laughs> Even though it's like the easier version of Rayman 1, I will still die a fair bit. <laughs> One of these species of spider ogre like creatures called the Ogwall. Og Ogwald. <laughs> I'm guessing it's pronounced like Ogwall. Which are naturally strong and big, so instead uh, of immediately serving them up, he has long range plan to make a small civilization of Ogwall extra servants for him. Hmm. Oh, there's the present. Hey, I got the, the green toenail. I have infinite lives, but getting those still give me some tings, which is quite helpful. Towards, uh, uh... Buying upgrades and stuff like that. Hey, Hello, Rayman, I'm Batilla the Fairy, and I'm going to help you on your qu- Actually, I should probably- I'm gonna give her a different voice. <clears throat> Hello, Rayman, I'm Batilla the Fairy, and I'm going to help you on your quest. You must find the free tomb totems and release the prisoners within. They are helpful magical beings who were sealed away by Mr. Mr. Dong. <laughs> the first one is hidden deep in the jungle, guarded by the evil mosquito. The second one is on the highest peaks of the Blue Mountains. And the third is hidden somewhere in the caves of Scots. <laughs> Do you really think it'll be that simple? I'm Dark Two, Mr. Dark's right hand man. I could just like step on you and kill you on the, on the spot. He gave me the power to stop you. I'll finish you before you can even start. Shoot you with your laser beam. Ray Rayman, take this, it'll help you defeat him. Yeah, quite easy, because this goes piss easy. This is one of the original bosses in this. Dark Tune ain't a thing in OG Rayman 1. Well, it's a good introduction, boss. Nice. You're no joke! You may have beaten me this time, but I'll be back. You'll never stop, Mr. Dark. <laughs> Some of the parents are dead. Oh, I missed the comment. It's a long time plan that involves gaining the trust of the civilizations of the Ogwall over the course of years to the point they trust the Verato, the children. From that one point, they tried to isolate most all the children and then alter the flow of the river with a dam to drown all the parents. So once the parents are dead, the Verato should give them respectful burials, but one part of the children is pretty much used as cattle for food by spoiling them rotten. So they aren't interested in doing anything else. The other half of the children is essentially raised and groomed to share the Verato way of life. Hmm. Sounds intriguing. I think there's some caves in this level that I can't actually get yet, because it requires some of the... Yeah, it requires that tomb totem, the swingy dude. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, I should be streaming a bit more often again now. Because I finished my course. There we go. So, that's why I'm streaming today. I was going to stream yesterday, but I was honestly a bit too tired. But, yeah. I can stream a bit more often. I plan to try and stream a bit more regularly. And I have the time to. The extra messed up thing is these adopted adorable children will unknowingly be fed the flesh of their kin. That is used for cow and from there the blah 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 and the Verata teach them that this is a good way of living. And now that entire society of Agwal is at the tip of their fingers as soldiers. Hmm. What was the course? Um, it was a simple, um, it was just a simple, like, job support course thing, um, doing, like, my CV and all that, um, I can't do the prison. Um, just, like, learning some tips, and they also did a customer service course bit. Yeah! Just a simple thing, really. The organization and execution of this plan might go very well, but ironically, I'm really glad of how flipped up this concept is to emphasize exactly how vile the. I'll try and pronounce the. The Beel Sutur is as a villain and how competent the Verata are as a whole. I hope the course did have some useful stuff in it. It did. And, um. They, they helped me tidy my CV up a bit, which was quite nice. There's nothing over there. So my CV is a little better. I've actually got something to add to it, which reminds me. Uh, these little, these little creaturey doos, they remind me of something from Tomba. Which I find adorable. <laughs> I've never actually, like, properly played that myself. I've watched Lane play some of it. It's fine to pronounce it just like, bull. I got you. But yeah, it's nice to know that you've got a decent concept going. Let me climb the vines. The thing about Rayman 1, even in this, is that some of the secrets are, uh, interesting. Like, you have to go to a specific area to open up a secret cage, essentially. Possible stream idea? Maybe. I'd, um, I'd probably try and play it myself first and get accustomed to it before I stream it. But, you know. Yes, I got all the things. It's Bazit! Hey, who are you? Stay out of here. This is my home, and I don't want any suspicious people here. Get lost or I'll sting you. Rayman 101. How to make friends. Beat them up. <laughs> I do like that this, like... This version of Rayman 1 gives some more context as to why Bazit fights Rayman. Because in Rayman 1 it's just like, Hi, I'm the Mosquito, time for a boss fight. We're friends now. <laughs> and boom, there we go. It's funny if you pronounce the Beal part as Bool or Bull. Ooh, that was a nice shot. You should do the, the Jism attack again. Because that's what it is. Like, that's. like can't be anything else. That is exactly what it is. Mm. Almost had it. There we go. Nice. Pretty straightforward, boss. Achievement unlocked. Friends forever. I beat you up, and now you're crying, so I'll pat you on your eyeball. Which probably stings. And now we're best friends for life. <laughs> you wanna make friends? Go and punch him in the face about six times, then you're sorted. <laughs> it's nasal speed. Now nah, it's the jism attack. That's you, look, I, look, look at that. It's just, it's infinite. <laughs> I am glad that this is a thing. This attack is new in this, um, and I'm also glad that he made it so you can just hold it down, rather than spamming it, which is nice. 
You've been watching too much teal. I have not watched teal in a year. Or like longer. I don't know how long I've haven't really seen this content. No, oh, I get that. It's hard keeping up with like everyone I watch now. Background is one of my favorite to think. Yeah, it's it's pretty nice. Ah, nice. We got almost all the cages in this level. See right there, that cheeky one-up. Like I go underneath, and it's like, hey, here's a one-up that you didn't spy. It's like, take that sucker. <laughs> Alright, can I do anything for Matilda yet? Your quest has only just begun and I'm here to help you. If you can break open 10 cages, I can increase your base up by one. So, Batilla in this raises your health um, for getting cages. So, we've got um, 8. Yeah, we've got 8 cages. So, a few more cages, I can upgrade my health a bit, which is nice. And collecting tokens gets us some bonuses. All the way down here are some of the interesting ones. You have um, Kirby-styled boss rushes. So you have like the boss rush and the true boss rush. I don't, I didn't beat the true boss rush legitimately, but it has like a secret boss in it, which is cool. Batilla's hat is fun. <laughs> uh. I can't go straight to Banland. Well, I could do, but nah, we'll stick to Dream Forest. The swamps are forgetfulness. When I was in Dutch kindergarten thing when we had Rayman 1, I always wondered what would be beyond Banland. Try to think about what it would look like. I am guessing you never were able to play more than Banland. Because that was pretty much the similar case for me um, during. Um, I forgot what the thing's called. It was essentially a club after school, uh, but they had a PS1 and Rayman 1, and we often just used the cheat code to do Mr. Dark all the time. <laughs> uh, what kind of voice do I give to Raisin? No one ever finished it, we didn't have to save it. Like, ah, fair enough. And I'm guessing you didn't know about the cheat codes. <laughs> hey friend, could you help? That sounded a bit like Goofy. Hey friend, could you help me out a little? I'm currently from to Raisin the Frog. Sure, I'll, I'll give you your clothing. Hey, Hey man, don't ever call him that again. Stop it. <laughs> I'll never forget you, help. Take this magic seed as a token of my gratitude. Use the action button to plant them. Well, look at the rain. The forest is flooding. I gotta go. I... I... I would like a Rayman game, well yeah, I would just like to see another Rayman game in general, but I would like to see another Rayman game that brings back, like, the other Rayman, you know? Because, they, 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 like, it's established that there is a race in the first game, and then they're just gone for the entire series. <laughs> it's like, oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it's like, come on. Uh, yeah! There were decent characters for the most part. But I would like to see them come back in some form. Yeah, I got them all. Nice. <laughs> I don't think that makes a secret doing that. Ah, uh, you mean the limbless? I get what you mean. Oh, only other limbless is served the one was the Admiral. He was from another game entirely. Yeah. I'm not getting that, it seems. That's okay. <laughs> the Yodel Sandboy, yeah. <laughs> Oh. 
Oh gosh. Oh jeez. No. Oh crap. I went a bit too far on that one. <laughs> I was gonna say one of the things I like about Rayman Redemption is that it it includes aspects of pretty much pretty much all the versions of Rayman One has some sort of representation. I'm trying to get what's underneath that. I should probably get rid of those um, dark tunes. Which I always used to thought as a kid. I always thought these guys were. Um, Can I just... Nah. What was I saying? I, I always thought that these guys were, um... Crap. I always thought that the Dark Tunes were Elect Tunes. I mean, they are. They're Dark Tunes, Elect Tunes. But I always thought that they were, like, Elect Tunes gone corrupt. Which I guess they essentially are when I think about it. And I'm just an idiot for not realizing it. <laughs> there we go, that's what I wanted. In Raymond 1, oh, yeah, anti tunes, that's what they're called. Dark Tunes is Raymond Origins and Lesnar's things, yeah. Alright, we can get ourselves the present. Just some basic platforming. Hey, the second one. I think there's about three or four each world. And you make a medallion with them and you can get more items in the shop with them, which is cool. We like protons and lectoons, proton, electrons, if antitunes, antitrons are a thing, Ray's got them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I can't get on there. Oh, wait, can I...? No. Also, I, I've... Oh, crap. That wasn't good. I've heard, like, people's differing opinions on the uh, victory jingle. Like, people prefer how the OG one was compared to the new one. And of course, you can always change it if you wish to, but I kind of like the DJ Scratch one. Because it's still the same tune, it just like adds a little more to it, you know? There we go, nice. Anything secret you do up here? Ooh, yeah, possible. Exploration. Bit of coolness because DJs are cool. Just like DJ Subatomic Supernova. And uh, I we're making it. Yes. Technically, I already have two. One that needs to be renamed and a villain. We've got. Well, I mean, we don't. I haven't actually decided if there'll be a DJ, but one of the villains. We've got down for Nevisine Rebirth is called Diva, and he's a music dude. Pretty sorry, Mr. Cage, but that's okay. The um the one O C um that needs renaming. I guess it's partly, partly in a way, Psycho's like character too, but it was what was gonna be Digi when the whole mascot crap was happening, which was a mistake, I'm gonna be honest. Um, but I thought, oh crap, but I thought it'd be alright just to 
I didn't want to want the character to go to waste, so it's being kept around by myself and I guess also Psycho. Possibly to be used in Nevizine as a completely different character with a different name. I think she's gonna have the design Psycho made for him. Because I like that one. Just needs a new name. And I think the idea is that she... She's friends with Mila, who's like the other musical OC of mine. Um, repeat, can so I can repeat that, I didn't catch it. Um, which bit didn't you catch? Also, this is a completely original tune, uh, based on the Game Boy Advance Rayman 1. There's a song that sounds like this in the GBA version. Or the Jaguar version, I think. Because that has an entirely different MST. I'll hop up here. See what's over here. There's something there's a cage over yonder. Like when you mentioned talking about the character being a mistake, I was like, oh, the character itself isn't a mistake. I was referring to, um... Do you remember when Digifan was gonna have a mascot for the chant the, for the server? When that had an announcement and then just disappeared because it was a huge mess? I don't know if you'd remember. Yeah, that, um, the character was called Digi. Um, but the, the whole mascot thing to have a mascot for that Discord was honestly a mistake. Because that server sort of wasn't big enough for something like that, <laughs> if I'm honest. Which should have been realised, but oh well. Um, but I didn't want... I don't want, like, the specific character to go to waste. Um... So we, the idea is to keep the character, um, rename them. I think technically it's more Psycho's character than mine because the design is hers. Because I want to use her design. I like the one that she made. And then uh, rename her. And she'd be the DJ in Cybernel City in the Nevisine lore with, uh, alongside Mila. Sorry about them not being so great near the end. It could have been. It could have been, but it just didn't go that way. I'm glad this has been nice to view these. Yeah, because it's built. It's built on something very simple, an actual chillaxed place. <laughs> like it has a purpose, and it's doing pretty well for that purpose. <laughs> Which, Digifam did not have a purpose, because nobody knew what the purpose was. And that's why there were so many problems. <laughs> if the character has a nice idea, some they can still apply them in a new context. Yeah. Also, this thing freaked me out, like, all the time as a kid. I, I like that it's natural boss. Digifam was really meant to be like a friend Discord with Jeff, right? N no. Not entirely, but it kind of became that. So then, like, when I had the torch passed, the, the, the point of the Discord, like, flopped all over the place and got confusing. And that's where falling out happened, but it's whatever. Is there a secret? Oh, but yeah, there is. There's a... Wait, hold the phone. Hang on, I need to try... No, so why would there be a... Why would that be there? That's a bit sneaky. Before left... Before left... Before Jeff left the Discord. Um, no. It wasn't supposed to be... It was more supposed to be like a friend circle, kind of public group. But then it sort of turned into 
most people being in there coming from Jeff's streams, then when he left and all that it got a bit muddly dudley. <laughs> or will I? No one can survive. <laughs> Sorry about the falling gear and such happening. I hope that will happen as little as possible. Well, it's not happened so much lately, which I'm glad. But yeah. It do suck. Oh, is that a... is that jumpable? Oh, you cheeky... cheeky sneaky. Like, if I didn't go up here... Like, if I wasn't curious to go up here, this cage would not have been found! See, like, Rayman 1, Rayman 1. And, like, it gets worse. <laughs> like, Picture City has a particularly nasty one that I remember. It's like, you're at the end of the level, you can see the signpost, and then a cage spawns. Like, further back, and you're like, oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Sneaky breaky as the gobnik says. <laughs> um, don't think there's anything secret over there. But it's okay if I miss secrets and stuff, because I'm not going for 100%. I'm going for like an any percent run, because I think it's pretty chill for like what you can get. But I will get that cage, because I've seen it. Like, it will be a case of, if I see Cage, I will try my best to get it, if I can. Um, I just need to figure out how... Is there a plum nearby? I think there... No, there wasn't. Liam will get 67%. Well, uh, okay, well... We'll have that as just a bit of a fun, a fun little bit. Like, won't, you won't get anything for being right. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. If I do end up finishing this, but I, I would like to. Oh wait, I have an idea. Oh, you can, you can definitely get on that. Oh wait, now I have to go further. And then... Yeah, because there's that there, like... There's got to be a way to get, you know, there. Except for then, I told you so. Yeah. <laughs> I do like the additional animation uh, Raymond added for the fist circle. Having like an actual flame, like orange ring, because that's not in the original. When would Kid Icarus get back to Rain and Redemption? Um, I'm not sure, I did check the last uh, Ratchet and Clank video, and it doesn't seem to mention. But I'd hope so. Aha, there you go. You can totally grab on there. And then... Oh, but that's so close, that is so tight. How do, you, how do you get there? I'll probably come back for it, methinks. If you guess about to have enjoyed it, same. Like, I'd like, I'd like to see his reactions to, like, the end game stuff. Because all that's great. And just me casually skipping over the level. <laughs> yeah! Oh, Jesus. I forgot about you. But I can speed run this. But there was a hand. So I'll see if I can go backwards to uh, land on top of 
that hand at the beginning. Because he should go away about here, yeah. I also wonder if he'll ever make like a weird world of 3D, 2D platformers. Even though he does seem to be among the more harsh critics and doesn't fully 100% look into the games he makes videos on. Yeah, I guess it's kind of the the thing when it comes to like the big video link content he does now that he has to kind of sort of fit everything in, if you will. You know, make things fit into the time scale. I, I don't know. No. Otherwise, the videos will probably be a, be a bit too long. <laughs> so, what can I do here exactly? Like, why would there be a hand here? I know there's definitely like a little secret in this level. Um, it's with this plump. Even before then, he had to take kind of like take care of like schedules. You yeah. wonder what the juice of these big spiked fruit would taste like. Perhaps these are the purple fruits of the purple fruit made out of. I always got like a black currant vibe from them. Speaking of plums, do you know what the Latin name for lead is? I do not. Uh, black current. Plum bum. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah. Fight the virus. That is a nice little thing. Pretty sure it's a COVID thing. <laughs> there you go, a neat little full power upgrade. Just from that. Is always neat. Yeah! <laughs> Alright. I think we're getting close to like the boss. The mosquito, too. <laughs> I think it was intended as a reference to Prototype Rayman, where he was still Jimmy in the computer world. I mean, I guess, but there is like the COVID like icon thing next to it, with the virus symbol. And this game did come out during COVID time. Gotta remember. Mosquito. That was a cheeky one right there. Oh, could I 100% this level? Maybe. I might have missed a cage though, thinking about it. Which is okay. Well, that is sneaky. Oh, I didn't know it's a COVID icon. But it was because, from what I remember, the original main villain for Rome, Pro Raymond was some kind of virus. Something, it was probably something like that, yeah. Alright, so we didn't get all the cages, but that's fine. <laughs> all but one is a decent amount. Alright, Mosquito. He has a lot more health. <laughs> but I can do that. It's cool this level makes use of lipwood platforms. I just like the look of these platforms. Lipwood, that's a weird word combo. <laughs> so he pretty much has similar patterns as uh, Bazit, but we have a few new attacks. Like these. Pulling out the big spiky 
berries, and then an even bigger berry. <laughs> So like, I, I didn't grow up with this theme for like the bosses. I grew up with the um, like the one for the PS1 version, but I definitely like this theme a lot more. And then go under. <laughs> Ray punching the mosquitoes slightly jump scared me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that I startled you in this creepy pasta version of Rayman Redemption. It's one of the coolest themes, though, yeah. Like, this game does go hard with its theme, its OST. <laughs> Especially the news tracks, too. I should probably use this song in, like, an RPG Mega game. I think that'd be cool. Like a mini boss theme. Alright, one more hit. Alright, you're gonna go for the big barrage. And done. The edge text in this version came from the Atari version, right? Um, there's... There is... It's pretty much uh, songs based on all the other versions of Rayman 1. You've got some from the GBA version, like uh, Mr. Dark's theme from that one. You got the Atari Jaguar version, um, as well as like I think a couple of original songs because this this version of Rayman added in like a new world, like a few new levels. There's a song that's based on Rayman Raving Rabbids, the GBA version. Oh, Pink Humpers, we are forever grateful and will now help you in your quest. Grab us with your fist to swing and reach new locations. Cool, but I'll go down here first to get some teams. The original song in the toy world doesn't add much to me, to be honest. It's okay. But yeah, there's, there's the other toy world one, which is based on um, Raymond Raven Rabbits or the GBA, the version that actually. Um, the version that actually is a game. <laughs> this platformer. Also, thank you for the redeem. Let me change outfits. Boop. There we go. A spoopy Halloween outfit. <laughs> Transformation time. These altars are that imprisoned help as the core and the version they came from. I think they might be original assets. We should have enough um, to get a health point. It looks like you have broken open 10 cages in total. I can now increase your base health by one. I shall shoot you in the face. You have to teach me to do those V-Roy clothes. Uh, a lot of these, um, well, the Zero Suit Susie one, uh, that was done by myself. It's actually like on the skin for the most part. Um, but I can teach you like how to do editing stuff. Um, this one that I'm using right here, I got off um, a website called Boof, and then I just sort of edited the textures or the colors a bit to fit me a bit. Uh, save game. Ooh, Rayman, haven't seen this in a while. Hey, hey, she KG. Yes, I'm playing Rayman Redemption, the um, the fan-made version by uh, Raymany or Raymany. The definitive best version of Rayman 1 in my eyes. <laughs> oh, by the way, in the past, I sent you some music for games like The Jersey Down, Journey Down, and 10,000 Bullets on the Gone Hand. Those, yeah, I think you did. And I think the Zero Suit one was painting your skin. Yeah, for the most part, it is. I think the shoes. The shoes partly aren't. I think I unlocked the shop after doing Bongo Hills, so let's. Let's do that. Ah, uh, yeah. This version is based off the PC version where you start down here. Uh, the PS1 version, you start off in the sky. But I prefer this one because it feels more like an introduction to the world rather than all of that. But I do like Bandland. 
But I do, I do like how. Um... Oh, there is a case there. How do you get that one? Yeah, how did you get that one? My Wi-Fi is trash. Sure, I'm sorry to hear that. How does one get that cage down there? That's probably some of way up. I hope some of the music from this game went to the museum. I could, they might do. You never know. But yeah, CKG, if you're not familiar with Rayman Redemption, this is, um, as I mentioned, it's a it's a fan-made recreation of Rayman 1 by one guy called Raymany. It's free on Game Jolt, and it's amazing. <laughs> it pretty much deals with like all the problems of the original Rayman 1, and it makes it less bullshit and a lot more fun. Even adding in like new boss fights, new levels, like an actual final boss with Mr. Dark. Like something we get robbed of in the actual Rayman. <laughs> um, um, and the big pointer is that you don't have to 100% the game to beat it. You're not forced into getting every single Electune cage, which is nice. <laughs> So it's less BS. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's 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 just a very solid remake, like just completely for free. Because Brymany should just own Rayman at this point, because <laughs> Ubisoft ain't doing shit with them. <laughs> I think I think Rymany is actually working on a new game of his own now, um, based on Burger Time, if I remember correctly. Try and get rid of this guy. Now I'll take the hit. <laughs> but he's definitely working on something new. Yeah, back in a sec. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. I'm not familiar with this area actually, but could lead to a cage. If I can. Get up, get up here. Ah, oh, this is where I was, so that was all for a one up, which is okay. But one ups are pointless to me because I'm playing on casual difficulty, just so I can enjoy this playthrough rather than stress myself out. <laughs> just in case you didn't know, couch. Ah, oh, I think, um,. I think you mentioned changing your name back to CKG, so I kind of recognized it, but... Yeah. But thanks for letting me know. Oh, wait, wait. There were Sparkly Doos. No, oh, never mind. Sparkly Doos usually mean secret. <laughs> Let's drop down over here. Yep, knew it. There's something here. Hopefully a cage. Oh, that, I'll take that. Now oh, it skips over this dude. This is a new enemy for this game specifically. They throw those. Wow. Okay, there's a cage there. <laughs> I definitely think it helps a lot, progression-wise, that in this version of Rayman 1 you start off with all the power-ups. Because I think by this point I'd have... I think I'd have Glide and Punch. I want to say, but I definitely wouldn't have run at this point in the game. That's like the last power up you get in like the original Rayman. But in this one, you start off with all of it, which is nice. <laughs> Let's get rid of all those. 
sneaky platform there. Okay, so I didn't get any caves in this section, but that's okay. There's still plenty of time for cages. And it's okay to miss some, considering I can any percent this, which is nice. Oh, I almost got crushed. <laughs> yeah, that, I need to get that up there. There we go. Quite a bit of tings there. That'll help me a bit. I'll see if I can get myself um, a power up or something after this level. Because I should unlock the shop. Oh, it's the mosquitoes. God, these guys are always such a pain in my bum. Get out of here. Or I'll just leave you be, I guess. <laughs> I definitely feel like there's some sort of secret on these platforms. I never actually take the time to check. So just being a little bit furrow. And it would help just to collect some of these things. Can't wait for Sunday, hope Jeff's like the game. Always has fun. Oh, what's he what's he playing on Sunday? Oh crap! Oh god, those guys hit hard. Okay, there's nothing there. Ooh. Anything hidden over here? Oh wait, is he playing Eternal Darkness? Remembering right? Okay, so it was just that. Now take that. You ain't gonna get me today. I turned like this, yeah. I remember now. I completely I can't wait to forgot what he was actually playing. But it just popped back into memory. Wait. No, oh no, I'll I'll go back up. I've seen little bits of Eternal Darkness, I've not seen like a full playthrough of it. But I'll definitely try and stop by for that stream. I want to see what's down here. Oh, the present. I'll, I'll take that, yeah. Thank you for the two, Psycho, and also, hello. How are you doing? It's... That one didn't get me this time. <laughs> cool. Nice. You doing alright? That's good. I'm doing pretty good. I was at my grandparents' day, which I was glad I could actually go and visit them. Okay, so I can't get up there yet because I have not found the tune totem for it. Oh crap. <laughs> but yeah, I've had a pretty nice day. Um, I kept waking up while trying to sleep because my brain is still in 6am mode. <laughs> um, but I should have a decent sleep. Well, I still had a decent sleep, but I'll probably have an even decenter sleep. Question mark? Weird placement. But yeah, I should have an even better sleep tonight, methinks. And this song always reminds me of Oddworld. Yeah, you could probably fit it in an Oddworld level quite well. Ooh, I can I could go grab onto you because we have unlocked you. Death gets some rest tonight. E. I'm planning to. Why is there nothing over here? What's the point of this area? Just for this, the checkpoint? I mean, I'll take it, but, you know, I would like a cage. Hmm. 
didn't have that either. Though. Did you sleep good? Did you have the good slurp? Oh, premium. Can I go over here? Yes, I can. There should be something hidden here. Whoop. Ooh, a token. I'll take that. I can do uh, someone and one more bonus level, I think. You slept alright, I'm still tired though. Yes, well, it's good that you slept alright at least. Oh, no. No, my worst nightmare. Ah, uh, get away. Okay, that wasn't too bad, but that could have been better. <laughs> Try and learn Vroid to make a VR chat avatar. Nice. <laughs> Vroid's pretty simple to use, but doing hair is a pain. <laughs> like, my first attempt at doing hair wasn't fun. And I'm glad my friend Blossoms offered to make mine look nicer like it is now. <laughs> Okay, mini boss time. This guy is a. Is a I'm trying to remember his plan. So he does that. Sometimes he shoots a lightning bolt. Okay. Oh, careful. No. I'll just take it slow. And I think at half health he goes crazy mode. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so he stops eventually. That's helpful. Alright, two more hits. Mm. Crap. There we go. That was a pretty smooth run. That one usually trips me up a little bit. <laughs> Can I get up? How can I get up there? Maybe like that. With a sneaky little secret area. How do I do it with you? Oh, like that. Okay. I always thought maybe the little ball chain would also hurt me as well. Oh, Christ! No! That just got ambushed by everything at once. <laughs> they say this is a kid's game, but it's not at all. <laughs> well, I mean, I'd say a kid would have an easy time playing Rayman Redemption over the original Rayman, but still, come on, that wasn't fun. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Yeah! I'm always being furrowed like that. I'm not going immediately for the same post, because you never know. I did not get any cages in that level, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have some power-up skins you wanted. It's yours, my friend, as long as you have enough tings. So, extra lives are pointless to me, because I'm playing casual mode. Um, ting magnet would be useful, but that's 15,000. Better power ups, 15,000. And then we have skins that we can um, unlock. Which is quite nice. I think I'll, gra I'll grab the Lockjaw suit. Because that's the only one that I really. There's, there's a few that I like. And you can also buy um, skins for the checkpoint. This is kind of neat. And I think Bazit also has skins. Oh yeah, there's four piece of them dalliums. So I've got extras, Rayman skin, Lockjaw suit. Is it? And there's also codes. There's cheats and stuff. I think one of the neat things is that this skin changes the fist to look like uh, Rayman 3. With the Lockjaw suit, which is awesome. It's a nice bit of detail. 
think I can change on the fly. Yeah, I can change on the fly, so... I think I'll just stick to OG Rayman. But I could always change it up every now and then. There was a cage. I saw a cage. I must- I must get cage. David cage. David's in the cage. <laughs> that was pretty nice. Pretty smooth. I'm trying to remember, like, where about roughly I'd usually get up to in my typical playthroughs of Rayman 1, like, as a kid. Because it was never that far. It was around, like, this point in Bandland that I'd then, like, completely just give up. <laughs> but I have done, like, one playthrough of Rayman, the PC version, fully, which wasn't a fun time. I'm not gonna lie, it was it was it was quite awful. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's the tutors. I think this section was actually made a little easier. Oh no! Uh, there we go. Thank you. I'm trying to think, how long have we been going for? An hour and 13 minutes. Um, I think this stream I'll probably try and do all of Bandland in this stream. Because then that's two worlds in a stream. Then you have the Blue Mountains and Picture City mixed with the toy world that's added in. Um, the Cave of Scots could probably be its own stream. Maybe. We'll just have to see how things go. The impossible jump. Well, that was really easy, though. That was a really easy jump, though. <laughs> he do the suck. They go and <laughs> I'm about to die to these tutors. <laughs> oh god. Not enough speed and momentum. There we go. I do need health. Health would be kinda nice, but the ending is in sight, so that's, that's alright. That's okay. The eyeball, it zap at me. How do I get... Hmm... Let's go... Oh! Now there are platforms to get up here. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that death so I can get my health back. So I know that if I go forward and then go backwards, there are now platforms. Cheeky, cheeky hidden platforms. And there's the cage. I think I need 25 cages total to get the next health power up. I could always just check. Go to Batilda Ferry and be like, hey, how many cages? How many cages do you need? Oh. Let's go this way. See what lies over here. Ooh, there's another cage. Nice. This level's going a bit better in terms of finding and getting cages. <laughs> so I'll take that. I also think that right, Raimony just made like the physics just overall a lot tighter in this one. 
because there's definitely something about the original Rayman one where Rayman is a lot more slippery on certain platforms. Which can make things a lot more painful. <laughs> I think there's a section in like Picture City that's particularly brutal because you have to go at a certain speed and make a jump through a moving pattern and it's just ugh. Yes. But hopefully that bit should be a bit of an easier breeze over here. Now yeah, this tune's a banger. Dang it, all of all of Bandland is a banger. <laughs> it should be, it is the music world. all the music notes. <laughs> if I remember it right, I think there's a section that is completely removed in this version as well in Band... not Bandland, Picture City. Where it's just a random section of just bouncy platforms and it's such a pain to traverse. Hey, it's the boy. It is the sexy saxophone. <laughs> Trying to think of what kind of voice I could give Mr. Sax over here. The saxophone. <laughs> Sorry, you know the little runt causing... Is it, it, it does sound look a little bit like Squidward now that I look at the face, so... Spongebob, say hey, you're the little runt causing discord in my kingdom. Leave while you still can, or you will feel the wrath of the mighty saxophone. No, how dare you. Don't you dare thrust your saxophone penis in my face. Yeah, that's right, you walk away. <laughs> we'll be fighting him soon enough. Um... Yeah, the Blue Mountains Twilight Gulch. I could just go straight there if I wanted to, but nah. Batilla, how many cages do I need? If you break it up, 50 cages. Okay. 50. But we have 20, so that's okay. Like, if needs be, I could always, like, play this off stream just to find more cages, um... But I ain't trying to 100% this, so that's okay. It's the gong height. Nothing secret there, that's okay. This part of Bandland always was interesting to me. Because it feels like a desert, but we're still like high up in the clouds. These monk dudes? Question mark. Oh. Sneaky. Oh, a token. I'll take that. Yeah, I, I might I might do some like off-screen exploration off-stream, because I'd like to try and find as many tokens as I can as well. Because I definitely would like to unlock um, the last few bonus areas. Thank you for the boom, imaginary. <laughs> I'd like to unlock the last few bonus um, levels, like the unlocking the arena and the true arena, which are the boss rushes, which I think are really neat. I, I won't guarantee that I'll beat both on stream, but I could try. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> oh, that one looked something else. Yep, there we go. Secondary platform. And a cage. 
sweet. I also think it's a nice addition that the electoons disappear, like they shoot up after you free them. Because you know, G Raymond one, they would like walk around and often just like fall off cliffs and die and fall into the water, and you're like, I just rescued you, and you're just gonna kill yourself. <laughs> Well, I mean, they can't be captured again if they're dead, so... <laughs> Maybe they're just playing big brain time. <laughs> okay, that one actually got me. <laughs> Thank you for the two. <laughs> no, no, Rayman, you fool. <laughs> I thought I landed on the, the platform. <laughs> Damn you, psycho. I'll, I'll get you someday, I swear. Like, <laughs> I'll, I'll end up scaring you somehow as karma. <laughs> Just, just you wait. Yeah! <laughs> All right, yeah, there's a new fella. <laughs> Mr. Dark's reign is disturbing the peace of Gong Heights. I know you will defeat him, Rayman, so I'm going to help you on your quest. Grab these rings of your fist, and they will send you flying. Mon Monk is a new character for this game. Or like this version of Rayman 1. And these rings are a new mechanic. They're a little bit fiddly, but they're alright. Whoop. Just gotta get that momentum. And I completely missed. That's okay. <laughs> hey, sometimes missing gets you a reward, though. So that's nice. I done did got myself a uh, thing. What did I miss? You missed Monk. That's that's who you missed. Oh crap! And you missed me. You missed me getting scared by Psycho Tooting. Oh, that's right. The cage. It's a good thing I did break the cage before I died, because they do save automatically. Hello, Joby. Yeah, the cages save automatically, so I don't have to. Uh... Thank you for the host. I don't have to go for that. I can just continue going. How are you doing, Joby? Psycho always scares by way of tooting and other ways too. <laughs> I'll be honest, I've never beaten Bam, and I am a fake fan. Not many people did, though, to be honest. I know you're not a fake fan. <laughs> oh, Joby, are you... Would you still? Are you still down for Tomb Raider this weekend? Cool. Because if you're, like, free tomorrow, I'd be down to record. Tomorrow, if you, yeah, cool. Yeah! Uh, what time tomorrow? Oh Christ, I forgot this was a chase segment. But <laughs> Tomb Raider or Rum Potato? Which one would you prefer? <laughs> um, I don't mind what time actually, but uh, afternoon. Yeah, sure. Um, I guess just let me know when you're um. You're good, and we can go from there. Um, if you bear with me, guys, one second, I have to go AFK briefly. Um, but I'll be back in a second. Actually, I can. You'll be able to see the up updated B Road back screen because Violet's on there now. <laughs> You're like legend. I hope so. But yeah, I'll be back in a second.
And you also have the complete walkthrough, nice. <laughs> That's why I'm back. Back from AFKness. Alright. So we had a chase segment with Big Cloud Boy here. There's a cage. Okay, I guess I can go back on myself. Hopefully I can go back on myself. Otherwise, that's brutal. I'm sorry, but the, the cloud there made me think of a puffer fish. Like, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Cloud is relentless. I'll be trying to draw in the meantime. Oh, nice. What are you drawing? If I may ask. I think you could go back, just don't jump down near the end. I was kind of forced to. Hmm, unless... No? Okay, that's okay. I can always come back and get the cage later. I guess I kind of had to, like, jump ahead and then go back a bit, maybe? Oh yeah, Mosquito Sonata, um, should I do these levels on stream? So I don't know if they really add much, like, I don't think you, oh you can get, hang on, I'm trying to figure out, you can get, I think you can get the present, I think there's some Electoons on there, no, you can't, you can't get the present, it's greyed out, so you can only get, a token and like being the level so maybe maybe I'll do them but I'll probably do I'll probably do them like last in the world because they're like bonus it's like uh, the Rayman Origins thing and like each one has a mosquito level which I thought was neat Uh, this should be the last Banland level, though. Or, like, second to last if we include, uh... The Mosquito level. Oh, <laughs> oh, come on, really? Basic platforming, not my forte. Quite evidently. <laughs> As you can see. <laughs> a drawing of two new characters with a bondage theme to them again. They've got a single nurse costume. They both wear at the same time, which makes them look like Siamese twins. Picture them to be close friends, perhaps girlfriends even. And like to do things together. Nice. It seems cute. Oh, I like the fact that they're a couple. <laughs> or might be. So, for example, they're like playing piano. May do it by the by way of one playing left half and the other side. Oh, that's not that's cute. That is cute. <laughs> I often do kind of consider like what kind of things Violet and Susie might do together. <laughs> Ooh, almost at a thousand things. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There was... No, oh, I can't get up there. False alarm. Hang on, can I get... What about some sort of interesting animals going to the zoo together? Yeah, maybe. Oh, come on, that's totally reachable, but... Oh, well. <laughs> There we go, got that. Got, got the P. So over this way, actually, I think there's something here. 
Oh, you know, I've not seen the fairies. That shrink you. I could have sworn they were in this level. Oh, this world. I just didn't see them at all. But we'll definitely see them at some point. How much this guy? I never actually like knew for ages that you just had to hide like in the center to like be okay. I remember I remember that in the hip hypocrite review. Get out of here. Yeah, this bit's different. It's not a chain, it's just one. Ooh, cheeky. For the two characters, I imagine the one in the right for us left. Half of the costume to be sweet and nice, while the other is more brash and rude. So to go with the nurse fiend, the first one would say something like, Good to see you again, love, how are you? Well, you're black. If you took but a care of yourself, you wouldn't need to infantsue me in the first place. Oh, it's like a good cop, bad cop. That's kind of like a violet scarlet thing, if I think about it as well. Oh my god. That's terrifying. I don't like that face. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> it's following me. It watches. It stares. <laughs> I think it's boss time. Is it sex time? Oh, almost. It's the Pringles guys. This, this, this thing's always made me think of the Pringles dudes. <laughs> For some reason. Uh, back to the classical Oddworld music. <laughs> Samba Pringles. <laughs> yeah. I think this is the last segment, and then boss time, I think. I think? Oh, there's the fairies, as I was, uh, just saying. I was just saying about them. You too, you're not going to survive just because you're the top one. No, you're gonna die. I'm back at the start. Oh, but I can go over here now, though. Actually. No, I turned, I turned you off. Off. Yeah, that's better. Turn off the skid sound effect. So it's not constantly in the face. <laughs> oh, there's the present. Yeah, I'll, I'll actually take that. That was worth it. I'll probably try and, like, find the rest of the presents off screen if I miss any, because they do help towards, um, getting new stuff in the item shop. So that would be neat. In terms of how this kind of met, probably when they were both in the hospital for something or other, and I picture them both having an interest in medical studies too. Oh crap. That's a little harder to get up top side. Nice, there we go. But I think it'd be good for them to have interest outside that too. Yeah. You can't just have a relationship built on one thing. I mean, you can, but it's probably not going to work out. <laughs> 
Crap. What? Oh, I thought I jumped over him. I guess this works, actually. Rayman, I told you to stop swearing so much. This is a kid's game. <laughs> you can't be saying that. Think of the children. Hmm, I'm gonna go backwards just to see what's up there. Cause it could be, it's a cage, yeah. I know it was worth it. Okay, it's sax time. Sax time. Let's try and get some hits on him. Yep, there we go. Get some early hits in. Think I can get free on him? Yeah, there we go. Free. Can't get that power up, that's okay though. Four. Okay, we can get four hits down. So. Bit of some early hits on the boss fight. Got four hits down. Oh, but he starts midway anyway. So that, that attack's new. So if you do chip off some health, he starts midway anyway. So that's an interesting compromise. He's gonna go some groovy sex. Yeah, he does. Okay, dodge all that. Crap, I missed. So he fires all of that and then. Crap, I missed that again. There we go. Ugh. One hit left, I gotta be a little bit careful. Ah, nice. Okay, that wasn't too bad. The mighty saxophone. But sadly in this version he doesn't dance with you, which I guess it would have been nice if he did. <laughs> Master of Bandland. The Lonely Cliff, which we can't do yet, because if I, if I try and go there... Nice going to do first try here. If I try and go here, I can't do shish. I can get up to here, and that's it. So. Oh, I don't got buffering. Oh no. Oh, that's on my end. Reconnection is successful. Am I back? Alright, back here. I'm not sure what happened there. I think my internet partly dropped. Um, but OBS, for once, that's the first time this has happened, but OBS um, had an unskippable bad. Um, OBS finally did the whole reconnecting thing. That's never happened on like the old PC. If the internet dropped, 
if the internet left, like, if, like, the stream died, I'd have to, like, close down OBS, reopen, and start again, but thankfully, um, thankfully this time around I can do the reconnecting thing, so I didn't have to stop streaming, which is nice. I mean, the VOD recording is all there still. Delink a 12 point gigabyte fall to six minutes remaining. What you don't, what you deleting? <laughs> Let's do the mosquito level then. <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't, I can't spam it anymore. I'll make it go super fast. <laughs> Unless can I? Nah. Deleting a copied folder. Backing up stuff from my Mac. Yeah, I've got you. Clearing out. Ah, crap. Token, token, token. Oh, oh, I missed the token. Raymond Toe. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's the buffer clouds. Oh, the power ups make you go faster. She just hurts anyway. Yeah, now it's like instantaneous. <laughs> Murder on Swart. Such so repeat what I said earlier. I imagine Kay describing the customs had. Imagine the characters I described, men in costume, have the upbeat one where a blindfold wears the room was a gag, so they have to rely on each other's sight and communication to get around. Or would be a funny and kind of cute thing like trust and stuff. Yeah. Talk about symbolism, yeah. <laughs> Quite literally. <laughs> well, that was neat. So I'm missing two of the pieces in Band Land in the Dream Forest for the symbol. It's not symbols, the medallions. That's okay. So, okay, we're up in the Blue Mountains, up to Blue Mountain Land. Um, but I think, I think that'll be that. Um, Raymond, can you stop swearing at me, please? <laughs> I think that'll be that. We're at the Twilight Gulch. Yeah, that stupid Raymond swear noise. Yeah. <laughs> So, we've made some good progress this stream, like, almost two hours in. Okay, okay. <laughs> almost two hours in, 26 cages, I'm not going for 100%, um, because I don't have to. Um, but yeah. I've got a few of the bonuses. Swing in the jungle. I could probably, like, do these on stream, maybe. I don't know, do I feel like it? In total, there's 40. I need to try and get them. So this one here is the arena. This one's the true arena. I'll share the drawing with you when it's ready, by the way, or on Jeff's Discord server. Yeah, I've seen Jeff's one. You can you can put it in Digifam. Not, not Digifam, you can put it in... My server. I have Digifan on the brain for some reason from the conversation earlier. <laughs> you know what I mean, you can put it in Cybernell City. <laughs> My server. You know, I'll do swing in the jungle. See how that goes. And I have fucked it up already. But I could jump that, couldn't I? Don't think that's a good idea. We well, could always just spoil it. Right? If you're un if you're unsure, you could just 
spoiler it and then say in like your message like has themes of such and such so that people know I don't think anyone really mind as long as it's not NSFW, you know. But I, I know you and you're not into that kind of thing. <laughs> I only got 20 seconds, I thought this was a, a count up. Okay. Go, 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 go. Yeah, ah, I did it with 12 seconds. Not bad. <laughs> the Vine Train Hunt. Yeah, I'll, I'll do these. Gotta find. Gotta, gotta find the things. There's one. There's another one. I better put these in like a really cheeky place. Ah, I don't think I'm gonna have enough time. Okay, there's one up there. Ugh. No, I'm I'm messing myself up. There we go, there we go. Okay, there's one there. So I've gotta drop down and get that. I got 30 seconds, maybe I'll be able to do it. I landed on that, I guess seven seconds. Eh. Eh. Now it's right there. Ooh! Oh, got it. <laughs> Two seconds to spare. Ooh, that was close. Considering as I said in the earlier stream in seconds, I was inside now and I still. That's fair enough, yeah. I mean, you could always just DM me it, I guess, if you want. The Fawn Garden. You know, I'll, I'll do these two and then... Methinks I'll then wrap stream up. Oh, okay. This is a time up, so I can I can take my time with it somewhat. <laughs> Let's see. Oh wait, I needed that, didn't I? Yeah, I I, I did. I have soiled myself. <laughs> I needed that. <sighs> So let's go grab that. No. <laughs> I swear myself he says it's drowned. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I could have continued after grab onto here. I, c I completely forgot you could actually grab onto those. Great. 
I need that. <laughs> no, I need, I need that to get up there. Why? <laughs> it's not gonna respawn now, is it? It's, it's there. Oh no. Two had the best plums, then one. Yeah, the plums were barely in free. What are you talking about? Wait, no. The Rayman 3 is the wow, 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 wow theme, so that makes it better by a landslide. <laughs> Alright, you go, you go, you go that way. That's what makes it funny. The music makes it funny. Bow, bow, bow. Bow, wow. Chubby be up here writing video game fruit. <laughs> oh, come on. What am I doing wrong? Everything. I'm doing life just wrong. There we go. Oh wait, I could have just. <laughs> oh boy, I completely forgot that I had the thing that makes me do that. You know, I just. <laughs> What I said you could have used the living stone. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> you could have used the living stones. He <laughs> made a good shout the papu fruit. <laughs> Standing on lipwood, so I don't think plants would have grown there. We could try. Yeah, well, I'm gonna live in your stones. <laughs> I've lost the plot. Not a fruit, but Xena braid, ice, cabbage. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna see if I can speed past that bit, because I don't actually need this plant or thing. We've established that I can just do this. And then do that. And then, like, I can just continue. Speedrun ish. Yeah, okay, yeah, never mind, it doesn't grow in here. Okay, fine. Crisis partly averted. Give up. <laughs> I, I didn't think I was on my last health. Uh, I'll, I'll just do that one off stream, I think. Maracas Madness. I think this was the one that Kedakurus was like. Imagine hearing this in a, in a porno. And I think that would be like the best thing ever. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, that one went pretty well. That one was pretty fun. I'll do that one like some other time, I think. <laughs> Alright. Well. Razman Redemption. I should probably save my game even though it auto saves on fairly soon, but just to be safe. He also said something with Mr. Sax's voices. <laughs> Thanks in a sax call, yeah. <laughs> That was that was fun time, fun strum. Um, redemption. <laughs> I don't know why is that so funny. <laughs> That's a pretty fun time. Oh, go a little bit tired. I'm looking forward to sleeping tonight. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Yeah, this was a very fun stream. I'm glad. You know, we all showed up and had a fun time. I'll try and I'll try and stream again, possibly tomorrow or Sunday. I definitely want to try and get some streams back in to kind of make up for the two weeks of non-streaming much. Um, so, and I want to continue playing Rayman Redemption as much more as I can. So yeah, we'll just we'll just see we'll see what happens. But yeah, I'll see you folks in a couple of days or so, and we'll continue uh, Rayman Redemption. We'll be going into the Blue Mountains, and then going from there. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for stopping by, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.